Hey everyone, welcome back. We are back at the shop. We are waiting for Tom Bailey and his son to get here with the shit box of doom. They need to stop by, do a little bit of maintenance. And we're gonna load the Buick up and try to go out and make some passes here at Rocky Mountain Race Week. Like I said in the last video, unfortunately we're not able to do the whole week, but at least we're still getting to be a little part of Rocky Mountain Race Week. Ooh, check that out. That thing is awesome. So freaking cool. We've got a twin turbo LS in this thing. Uh, lots of history of this car. It's, it's a really badass car. Joe, you ready to rip that thing or what? Fire it up. I would love to have these. They're for sale, I see. On oh, the internet. What the hell? You have <laughs> Trying to sell it all. Why? What's up, I Joey? Need two of them, nothing. Two of them right there. Hey, we went and rode those electric scooters. Yeah. I, I, we rented them in uh, Great Men. Those things fly. Oh, yeah. No, they're fast. You guys made it though, huh? Oh, yeah. How's it? Okay. Oh. Yeah, the car's fine. People inside are a little warm, so. Yeah, no. Car puts off a lot of heat. Yeah, it's got a big... Yeah, it's a big cooling system because it's like my other car. So like, I mean, it runs 175 engine temperature. The the problem is it feels like it's 280 degrees inside. We took all the belly pans <laughs> off to try and get more airflow through there, and it definitely made it it made it livable. Like, sure. I don't think yeah. we could have made it with the belly pans. The first hundred miles were gruesome. So learned real quick, huh? Better. So right on. Uh, hey, you guys made it. You had a lot of thrashing to get it here. So yep. Yeah, so no, I mean, cruising down the highway fine, cruise, everything does nice. good, so. A little bit so of maintenance. Far, so good, so yeah, I mean, we'll do, it's still got the break-in oil in it, because we just put oh, it sure. together, so we figure we'll swap it. Put an oil change with it, put the belly pan and stuff back on, tighten everything up again, because who knows, like, oh, yeah. we don't even know if everything was tight to begin Nothing with. Nothing bolted, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Right on, guys. So might as well, there's a lift available, it's like. Makes it way easier. And, and you're not out in the, the heat. Yeah. <laughs> not as bad. No, that's the thing. It's going to be, I think, whatever I saw. It's going to be spicy yeah. today. Kyle 1320 or whatever, they keep posted some stuff or whatever and like for the week. And I think the low is 98 the rest of the week. The high is like that's rough. Seven one of the days. That's rough. So. <laughs> yeah, this thing's cool though. It's got all the engine bay room. Holy cow. Yeah, well, we set it up with doing everything with, um, like, he never had air to air. He um, only ever ran it on E85. Sure. So we switched over, Aiden added in the fuel sensor, so we switched over to run on pump gas, and that's what we were doing yesterday is working out of pump gas, too, and sure. switching over from the E85, but right the intercooler allows us to race it on 93 instead of just on E85. Right. But, um, one of the two completely straight with the gas. Um, set it up for a fuel cell to be able to go in the front. Oh, sure. In the future, so lighten it up and everything. And everything so. Nice. So whatever, we'll see. Right on. Right now, we just got to make it through the week. That's that's, that's, the, that's the first thing, right? In and get his license and. Is that what he's doing? Is doing his license throughout the week and stuff. Yep. Yeah. So he got. Nice. That's his both partials for the other day. Sure. Whatever, to get those hits in, and then he's got four more hits to get the license stuff done. So if he gets three hits, he might be able to make a full pull. Yeah. Yep. Out the back and stuff. Cool. So, awesome. And then time to turn up the boost. Yep. <laughs> well, right now we don't even have the. We don't even. We didn't have enough hose to even hook up the boost control. Oh. <laughs> so, like, so we got the bottle. We got the the solenoids, but we, there's no hose in between any of it. So right now it's on. It's got five pound springs in it, so it's got that five works. pounds of boost. So, but I mean, it should run. It should probably run down in the nines with just that. So What's no this thing way ish? So, you know. Probably find out in Denver they got yeah, a good scale. Probably 3,400 pounds. Nice. That's I not guess. bad for such so, a big car. But awesome. <laughs> well, well, it could weigh 4,000 pounds. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Oh. Had to run and get some meat for these guys. We're back though. So 
Baileys are headed out to the track. They just did some general maintenance, got everything ready to go for the day. We're gonna load the Buick up and head out to the track right now. Hopefully we can get a few passes in, get this thing really dialed in, trying to keep going from where we were at in the last video with the Buick and make some more progress with this thing. We can get it out past the and I'd love to shoot for that seven. I just, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that opportunity or not, but we're gonna find out here soon. So even though we're not in race week, we're gonna pretend like it's race week. So we got the trailer hooked up, got everything with the car that we need. We're gonna head out to the track, we'll make a few passes uh, if we can get in. Make sure everybody else that you know is running the event gets all their stuff in but if we can slide in with some of those guys i mean we we're registered part of the event and everything but uh see if we can get a couple passes in here today see what the old buick can do ready to do some race week things yes let's go racing <laughs> this isn't quite how we expected to do race week but no. it's all right we'll still get to go out and have some fun to go see everyone and take the buick out it's quite the hat thank you Big hat mafia yo <laughs> set up getting ready to make a few passes the place is absolutely packed this is one of if not probably the biggest event that comes to the local track here in Pueblo and it's awesome to see just you know hot rodding racing everything just alive and well and a uh, huge shout out to Matt that puts this thing on because this is cool that you can bring this many hot rod racers car people together in one place and do what we're doing here which is amazing all right, here we go. First pass. Gonna run it to the eighth. See what we can get here. on the little street pump and it doesn't make enough power or fuel to support the power that the car makes. So uh, botched pass, got nervous, tried to rush up there. We're trying not to be in anybody's way, so we're just trying to flow in and everything. So, hey, it happens. Uh, big pump is on. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we have a little switch in the back of the car. So this little switch right here turns the uh, big pump on. So that's the race pump and that's the street pump. So uh, we don't have a variable speed five gallon a minute in this car. If we did, we wouldn't have to have this issue, but we had this pump before all those came out. So, oh well, uh, we're ready to go. We're gonna leave everything the same. Maybe run it out the back. We'll just see how it feels and go from there. See if we can make something happen here. If we can outperform our uh, our first try, we'll be doing better. That's very true. So, so we would be in the 850 class of this event, but since we're not really competing all week and everything with everybody, we're just going to run it out and see if we can go the fast passes. Old Buick's ever gone. Yep. 
How are the tires looking over here? Right on the money. 17.5. Good job, Piku. <laughs> a killer mile an hour i don't know what that was but man that thing felt like it was it was riding up top they had like a real small little stumble right when we left kind of and then it, it whew, she was riding i don't know how fast that was but up top that that was moving that was a hell of a mile an hour thank you 832 at 168 not bad. It only went to 138.60, which is actually pretty soft. Uh, it's probably where it kind of hiccuped a little bit. But I don't know. That felt way faster than 168 mile an hour. But I don't know. It's been a minute since I've been that fast. So. Yeah, it might have sloshed fuel. I don't know. We'll look in the log, see if it lost fuel pressure. But I mean, it just kind of uh, uh right there after I kind of launched and then it ripped. Fastest pass ever on the Buick. Just, just getting with it though. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, it went 839 or 832 with a nine at 168 mile an hour. So we've been 130, so we're almost a tenth off in the 60. And we went a 529 before in the eighth, and it went a 540, so two tenths off there. So that should have been an 80 pass if it, if it would have held through. So I don't know. We got to look and see why, why it slowed down on the back half, but something we got to look at. Why? There it is. So it has 52, it's starting to make good pr fuel pressure, then the G-forces start to get with it and it draws it all the way down to 28 PSI fuel pressure, probably when it should have in the 60s. Comes back, comes back a little bit, a little bit better, and then finally recovers up top once the fuel stops sloshing and rolls out the back. So that's what I thought happened when we went down through there and I was thinking about like, why would have it have done that? And, We've kind of ran into that. The fuel's probably a quarter, just up, or maybe just under half a tank full. And we ran into this when the car started doing really well, like down in Bowling Green when we went pretty quick. It started sloshing fuel, so that's exactly what we ran into was uh, a fuel sloshing issue there, which caused a little lean bog again. And that's where we're at. So even not running great, being two tenths off to the eight, it went at eight thirty-two. So if it would have been the two, pick the two tenths up um, to the eighth, that should have been. Uh, 18 to an 80 pass right there, which is freaking badass. All right, here we go. Pass number three. Let's try to go bottom eight. This might be a high, high seven. We have to get pretty lucky for that.
Staging lanes are now closed. So unfortunately we did not get that seven second pass. I shot kind of for the moon, overshot it. Uh, it was really, what like, that would have been an aggressive 60 foot. Uh, but some other cars were going like 120s with bigger tires, of course, stuff. But if it would have been there, it would have been a, a definitely our fastest 60 foot. Uh, still though, what a great night. 832 with a nine and 168. Not our fastest mile an hour, not our fastest eight. Our fastest quarter mile pass ever, uh, which just means that we easily got a faster pass than that in this car. We just got a, stars got a line. Still learning the suspension. We really didn't play too much with it today. I did a couple clicks, but uh, with all the with a couple other issues, we never got really any good base data to make sure if those changes were doing what we wanted or not. Uh, so maybe turn it back down, find a good sweet spot there. We know we got like an 8.0 or 18 tune up in this thing easily. Uh, and then we just got to find that extra little bit for sevens. But for you guys to see a seven second pass out of the Buick, you're going to have to hit that subscribe button. Come back later, watch another video. So I hope you guys do that. Thanks for watching. Unfortunately, this will be end of our race week. Like I said, there's only one thing more important than race cars, and that's family. So got to take care of some of that stuff. But uh, we'll be back soon with another video. We'll see you guys later.